It doesn't come from the outside. It doesn't come from your intellect. It doesn't come from your education. It doesn't come from your relationships, but it comes from the inside of you that was uniquely created to move forward. My encouragement to you is connect with source. This is your Produce On Purpose podcast. I am your host, Randy Adkins Jr., author, teacher, speaker, preacher, and lifelong learner. Connect with source. That's what we're going to talk about today. How we as producers should connect with source. So let's start off with our dad joke for today. Here it is. What is a light bulb's favorite kind of news? Current events. <laughs> Hopefully you enjoyed that. Have you ever felt that there is more to life than what you are seeing right now? I'm going to take us to a scripture to start off this conversation about connecting with source. It's Genesis 1, 26 through 27. And it says, and God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air, over the cattle, over all the earth, over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So God created man in his own image and the image of God created he, him, male and female created he, them. I want to start off by talking about connecting with source. The source that you may relate to, you may have called it nature, you may have called it the universe. The source that I connect with is God. In the Bible, it talks about God creating man and that we have an image that is in the likeness of God. That means both male and female. When it says man in the Bible, it is describing that. And we have the ability, as God has already put in us, to produce and to also, well, in the next scripture in verse 28, it actually talks about us being fruitful and multiply. And we talked about that in the last episode that in the scripture where Jesus talks about him being the vine and we are the branches, that we are to be fruitful in this earth, that we are to produce, that we are to produce. And what I want to do today is for us to talk about connecting with the source, not the resources, but the source. Because oftentimes what I've found in my life is I have been praying or meditating or working to produce many of the resources, but I've been connected to resources and not the actual source. If we connect to the source, then we are going to have the power to create anything that is here upon this earth. As producers, how are we set up? I like the way that Paul describes it in Thessalonians. 1 Thessalonians 5.23, and the very God of peace sanctify you wholly, and I pray God your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved blameless unto the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. We are a three part being as described there with spirit, soul, and body. I will use that as our backdrop to have a conversation about how we should connect with the source of all things, who is God. God has put within us a creative ability to be producers, to have an imagination that he alone has put in every single one of us. If we are aligned in these three areas of our lives, how we can have a greater fulfillment 
What I've found is that if you only have one third or two thirds, it's not going to give you everything that you need to be fulfilled. So let's start off with the easiest one. It's your body. We need your body to be connected. Your body should be thought of like a spacesuit. You have been brought into this world to live within this body suit. And so an example is just like a spacesuit. If I was in space, I want my spacesuit to function at the highest level for space. Well, your body is your suit that you have here in this earth. Don't you want your body to function at the highest level so that you can have the greatest experience here on earth? If that is the case, then we want to connect to the source in a way that allows for us to have a body suit that will function at the highest level where all of our senses that we have, that they are functioning at a high level, that we are aware of our surroundings, that we can be grateful for the things that we either see, touch, feel, hear, smell, our taste. In order to be fulfilled, part of what we should do is connect with God through our senses. So being connected in the body encompasses caring for your physical body and connecting with other people who you can help and support, and they can help and support you through some of the difficult life circumstances that we have. But it's important that you have the energy, the strength, and the connections with other people so that you can be fulfilled in your body. The second area that I want to talk about that will connect us to the source, who is God, is our soul. So you might have a connection in your body and you have awareness happening. The soul is where our mind, our will, and our emotions reside. This is such an important area of our lives. This is where we make our choices and our decisions. In your soul is where you have an intrapersonal relationship, where with your body, you're having interpersonal relationships with others. Sometimes we have internal conversations with ourselves where you talk out things. And sometimes the what you're talking to yourself may not be some of the best things. And we want to make sure your soul is connected to the right place, such as in Romans 12 and 2, where it says, and be not conformed to this world, but be trans ye transformed by the renewing of your mind that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. You want to be fulfilled in your soul. You must renew your mind. You must renew your mind in the word of God. God, if he is the creator, then I'm going to have words that are going to help me as a producer be more creative. And it will renew on a daily basis. This is, it will help me and instruct me how to live how to make the right choices that I need to make. Psalms 119 and 11 says, Thy word have I hid in my heart that I may not sin against you. That tells us that if we take the time to understand God, our creator, and this is where I want everyone to think about is taking the time to understand God, our creator, will help us to have a better relationship with making decisions. Then you are able to also hide that in who you are, so that you can become a better producer and a creator because you're connected to the creator. And when you have that word, you are also uh, focused on having the mind of Christ. So Christ, we know, is God that came to this world and it was embodied into man in Philippians 2, 5, 
it says, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. This enables our mind, which is a part of our soul, to be connected and more closely to God. So when we have that battle in raging on the inside of us, uh, sometimes is between uh, what to do here and what to do there. I want you to have a connection with the creator through his word, through his word. That's how our soul changes. That's how we become different. That's how we overcome issues of this world. That's how we become more stable in who we are. Understanding his word and what he is saying to us, when we are able to love in love in a great way, then a lot of the chaos that is on the outside of us will be reduced to a place where we can continue to give love, we can continue to produce, and we can continue to create more vineyards that will help others to produce more and more in this world. So connecting to the word will help us in our soul and help change our mind and our mindsets and our thinking. The last area I want to talk about is connecting in our spirit. If we are our body, we connect in it with our five senses. In our soul, we are now making choices and decisions based on words in a, a new mindset. Then in our spirit, I like what it says in Genesis 2, 7, and the Lord formed man out of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life and man became a living soul. We uh, contact God who is spirit through our spirit. For example, John 4, 24 says it this way, for God is spirit. So those who worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. God is like Wi-Fi, who is constantly broadcasting a signal to all of the world. And when we are wanting to connect to him, we must be a Wi-Fi enabled person that has the instructions on how to connect with him. Galatians 5, and 25 says, but the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance, there against such there is no law. And they that are Christ have crucified the flesh with the affections of lust. And if we live in the spirit, let us also walk in the spirit. You can walk in the spirit on a daily basis through prayer. Prayer is going to be very important to be able to connect in the spirit. When we connect, we're going to use our conversation of prayer with God. I also am going to encourage meditation. Meditation is when we sit and we listen. And so that means you are in a place not where you're trying to say anything, but you are listening for God because prayer and meditation allows us to have a two-way communication with God. When we connect with the source in the spirit, then we are going to get our instructions. I'm saying connecting to the creator allows us to co-create in this world a greater, in a greater way. It allows you to produce great fruit in this world that will help others to be able to move forward. And if you are truly understanding what I'm saying here, that God has put within every single one of us an imagination. The imagination that we have is what manifests in this world. And it comes from the inside out. And we can then manifest God's love, his joy, and his strength in everything that we do. You experience your joy as it unfolds. And it comes from the inside. It's not from the outside. This is where I want to pause because 
many are looking at their lives and they're seeing what's on the outside of them. You're gauging your life based on what you see. That is not truly what's real. What's real is what is on the inside of you. And what the spirit is telling you is that when you're connected to the source, who is God, that's real. Your faith is real. So once you've connected to the source with your body, your soul, and your spirit, you will produce fruit that is great for this world. It will never spoil because it's an eternal. It's not just stuff for this world, but it's coming from the source. Once you have an alignment of items coming from the inside of you out, not outside in. And again, when you look from the outside in, it's deceiving. But when you use the, the, this key, looking from the inside out, what's already been created in you as from the creator will come out. And I'm going to talk about flowing because if your intention as a producer is to allow what you have been created to do, I remember you have a general purpose to really align with your creator. And then you have a specific purpose that the gifting that has been given to you should be used. Then you will begin to flow on purpose, flow on the purpose that God has given you flow with a purpose and flow from purpose. When your body, your soul, and your spirit are aligned, it's like electricity. When we think about electricity, it's the backbone of our society today. It is in our wiring of our homes. It's in the buildings and everything that those wires are, have the, it, they can all hold a current. And so anything that connects to the wiring system can have that power. And for you, I want you to understand that that electricity, that alignment with the source who is your creator is the first thing that I want you to do as a producer is to get a connection with your creator. And when you get that connection, it's just like electricity. It's just like what is being held in those wires in our homes, in our buildings, that you will have the power. Current has movement, it has flow. And when we have the flow, then we can flow with a purpose in our lives. We can then flow and have that power produce from the purposes in our lives. It can then produce greater things in this world. And when you have a creative idea, um, a creative um, thing that you are looking to do, then it can flow out of you into this world. Emptiness sometimes that we feel and wanting to accomplish more will disappear because you are connected to the source and you are flowing with a current and you are in a movement that is actually producing. And that is going to be key because you are now connected with the source not connected to some resource because you can connect with resources. But one thing that is different between the source and the resource is that all resources decay and die. So you want to delineate whether or not you're connecting to a source or a resource. The source is eternal, but everything that is a resource will die. So here's what I am talking about. If you connect it to your house, your house at some point in time will continue to decay. I don't know how many years, but it will decay. If you're connected to a person, a person's body will decay and get older. If you're connected currently to a car 
or to money. We all know that all of those things, what do they do? They decay and they die and go away. But when you connect to the source, that is where the creative power is. You can continue to create new items, new things, new ideas, new things that can change this world when we connect to the eternal source. That's where our flow comes from. That's where you can say, as it says in Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. It doesn't come from the outside. It doesn't come from your intellect. It doesn't come from your education. It doesn't come from your relationships, but it comes from the inside of you that was uniquely created to move forward. My encouragement to you is connect with source. That will end this episode. Hopefully you got something out of this that as a tripart being, we are body, soul, and spirit. When we align the body, soul, and spirit to connect with the source who is our creator, God, and then our imaginative power that he has given us, we will see manifestation in this world that is greater than what most people have ever thought of. You will be able to create greater love in this world. You will be able to create a greater fulfillment of peace, a greater fulfillment of joy. You will be able to have a greater time in this world because you are now in alignment and in harmony with your source, your creator, who is God. That's eternal, not like a resource which will die decay and be dead. So I encourage you connect with the source. So this week I'm going to encourage you to take the time. Last week you wrote down how you wanted and where maybe there is some places in your life that you wanted to be a producer. What I'm going to do and encourage you to do today is take the three parts of your life. And maybe there is a part that is not fully in alignment with the source who created you. I want you to write down which areas and I want you to then take and say, how can I connect in a better way? Maybe it's learning more about the creator that created me. Maybe it's more about how I can pray in a greater way on a daily basis. Maybe it's about me doing more with my body suit that I'm living here in this world with that I can eat better or exercise in a greater way or do something that will help the instructions of that to work in a greater way. How can I have a better impact by connecting with source? Write that down. And I want you to take being a producer now that where you want to be a producer at and then where you're going to connect with source. And then after that, I want you to write down what's the first step that you are going to take to start to move in that direction of becoming a great producer that is connected with the source. Our next episode, we are going to go into talking about a title called See It Before You See It. See it before you see it. I'm excited about this next episode and I hope you are as well. I will see you next time. I ask that you do me a favor and that you would subscribe. Of course, you can find me at www.randyatkinsjr.com. I'm your host, Randy Atkins Jr., your author, speaker, teacher, preacher, and lifelong learner. Please provide me some feedback. Contact me at www.randyatkinsjr.com and I'll see you on the next episode.